this video we're going to be designing and printing our Vario prototype mud guard for this bike. Uh, we're going to be basing the design on a connection with the seat post so we can focus on a really simplistic design. Um, all the printing is going to be done on the Zortrax M200 in black to ABS um, and then we're going to do some stuff after to, to finish the whole thing off. Here's the 3D model of our mud guard prototype. We base the design around the bike seat post to which we measure to attain the correct dimensions. Due to the size of the design, we needed to create two parts that join together. We used a dowel joint system to connect the two parts and we would intend to glue this together later. Here you can see the two separate parts ready to go to the printer software. The first print we did was of the joint system. Uh, this was just so that we could test that it would work correctly and had a nice tight fit. All the printing was done on the Zortrax M200 in black ZABS. Here you can see the main part of the print which required support whilst printing. At the bottom here you can see the raft. Uh, this attaches the 3D print down into the perforated plate to avoid warping. Now we need to remove all the support material. Uh, this is very easy on Zortrax print. And now we can attach the two parts together to see how the whole thing looks. To achieve a slightly smoother finish, we will sand both parts down. Now to join the two parts together, we're using an epoxy glue. Um, we're going to put that on the downing joints and be quite liberal with the glue so we can get a really good adhesion. And now that the parts are glued together, we can worry about taking care of this seam in the middle. To do this, we use the same epoxy over the seam. Being generous with the glue, we'll add support over the join and we will later sand it down. So now we filled it in, you can see the little ridge made of the epoxy glue and we'll just begin to sand it down. Now that's all smoothed down and it's a lot stronger, we can uh, start painting. First we'll add a layer of primer. And lastly we'll go over it in a matte black. So here's our final mark guard. Uh, we've attached it onto the seat post. And if I bring it a little bit closer you can see that the finish is really cool. We've, uh, 
sprayed it in matte black. If you bring it a bit closer, you can see the structure underneath, which, which gives the support. And we've added a little black elastic band around here, just to stop the, the rotation of the mudguard. And you can also see that it's quite flexible. And this is where the original seam was, around here. Which you can just about see, but it's really smooth. And now all we have to do is attach the seat back to the bike. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.